BRB TV in the very cavernous BRB TV bat cave for another episode of Terrific TV Toys. And for this installment, we're going to take a look at the Catwoman Miko. Okay, guys, we have looked at Wonder Woman. We have looked at Supergirl. We have looked at my favorite Batgirl. Now let's take a look at the fourth gal in the Supergal series of the 1970s, more specifically 1974. And this was not actually a super gal. This was a super villain, the only villain of the four. And this is Catwoman and she is just lovely and this by the way this book is Mego 8 inch superheroes world's greatest toys by benjamin holcomb which i use as a resource i love migos and so i've been able to find out some good information from this book and also from migomuseum.com those guys are great they have a mountain of information on that site and they've helped me out with different projects i've worked on over the years so thanks guys so this is catwoman she is just lovely. Look at this outfit. I think that Catwoman in the comics wore this outfit for about five minutes. <laughs> it is kind of a rarity. You can see that shot of um, it in the book, which is what they use on the box art for this figure in the series. Um, you can see they had that feature there. But yeah, Catwoman, she wore a dress, like a, a purple dress at one time in the comics. She's worn that black cat suit. More recently, she's had different outfits. This outfit is not a widely known outfit for, for Catwoman. And look at her hair, too. Look at her short black hair. It's pretty poofy. Um, I don't know what was the influence here. You know, I have to think about the Adam West TV series of the 60s and the three different females that played Catwoman on that. And I don't know if this doll would be in, influenced by any of those and certainly not the outfit because that Catwoman wore the black cat suit, that like slinky, shiny black cat suit. And that's just not this outfit. I mean, look at this outfit. I love it. It was in the comics, but like I said, just not for very long. But this one is nice. Um, like the other three dolls in the series that I have, um, her hair has stood up so well over the years. I can put my comb right through it, as I am just compelled to do because I'm a girl and all. <laughs> you can see her outfit, um, the collar is leaving a little to be desired these days. It really, um, that's only in recent years that it's been looking a little ragged. Um, it actually, all through my childhood, looked great on her, as I remember. Her tail is still attached. And her boots. I love her boots because they're such a different style. They're sort of a custom style for this figure. They're not like the Batgirl boots, which were smooth at the top. These have like a fold here, and they're a little chunkier at the bottom. They're not quite as high heel looking as the um, Batgirl boots. So I still have both of her boots. Her leotard is in pretty good shape, but you can see that it's got some fading, almost like it met with some bleach, which I know it did not, but it's just kind of some discoloration and fading a little bit in the blue there. And then as a special treat, <laughs> this Catwoman, my Catwoman still has her gloves. Look at that, they're a little bit split but they're still there. So this Catwoman, like my Wonder Woman, is complete, not missing any parts. Both my Batgirl and my Supergirl are missing something or other. Um, more things on the Batgirl than on the Supergirl, but Catwoman is intact. You know, I think what I did as a little girl when I had this Catwoman, I set these gloves aside. You can see they're, they're kind of straight, they're kind of stiff, um, I think I, I realized that right away and I thought, oh, I'm just going to set those aside and just play with her like this. So I think that's why the gloves are still um, in existence. Um, not only the fact that I got her a little bit later than I got the Batgirl, and I probably played with her a little less than I played with Batgirl, but I think I just set those gloves aside. And I was, um, by that point, probably pretty good at trying to keep track of things and not just letting things go willy-nilly all over my room or all over the house. So look at her red mask and look at those eyebrows. Are those not crazy? Her eyes are actually orange and she's got some reddish lips. She's definitely 
perfectly different than the other girls in this series. I think she still has the same markings on the back, though. The rest of them, I noticed, after I read it in the book, I looked it up on these, and they say NPP Inc. 1973. All four of them do. And then on the back, you can see this mold is from Roman numeral 1972. Um, that was a little misleading for me because that made me think that I got the Batgirl doll in 1972. But no, I got her a couple years later. I think it just um, signifies the mold. You know, all four of these Super Gals dolls are the same female body mold. Um, and very articulated. She's got the wrists that move and the elbows that move and she can she can kick she can kick Batman's butt on occasion because she's Catwoman and even though she was a villain I think when I played with her as a little girl I didn't play her as a villain I just played her as one of the gals she hung out with the other three they had coffee they went bowling you know girls night out whatever she was accepted she's beautiful